is Jazz. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Y'all, the craziest thing just happened to me today, y'all. Like, I literally cannot believe it happened. So, I have been searching for this Louis Vuitton item for a minute, like a minute, minute. I have been searching secondhand because I normally um, buy secondhand only, um, but I have been searching secondhand or used sites. And I have been searching the Louis Vuitton website for it and calling nobody could get this item for me and even when i inquired about it they would say oh this is such a hard to find item that you know it's kind of hard for us to tell you when we'll get it in and blah 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 so anyways today y'all i finally got the item so let me tell y'all a little story if you're interested listen to it because it's going to be very valuable for people who are looking for hard to find items out of louis vuitton but if you don't care you can skip ahead all right so basically, like I said, I had been searching all around and then I tried my last resort and reached out to a sales associate. Now, for normal people reaching out to a sales associate would have been the first thing they would have done when they're looking for an item. But me, since I normally buy secondhand, I really don't have a relationship with a sales associate. The last time I literally bought anything out of Louis Vuitton was like last year, like maybe October or something like that. And I had got one of their numbers because they replaced an item for me. So that's the only reason why I even had this sales associate number. But anyways, I took a long shot and I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna just text her and see if she can help me. So I text her. Um, the message ended up going green, okay? So if you got an iPhone, you know what that means, like if the message go green, right? It means the number either disconnected or something, maybe, they maybe got you blocked, whatever. So I ain't hit nothing back, so I was just like, okay, whatever, it's dead, whatever. Today, she texted me back and said, hey, I'm sorry, I was out of town. I know you're looking for this item. I will see what I can do. And I said, thank you for responding, right? I would say four hours later, she texted me back and said, I found one. I said, for real? You found one? She said, yeah. Do you want me to call you about getting your information so you can purchase? I said, yes, call me like now. So she called me. And so we was proceeding to do the transaction over the phone. And she was like, yeah, it's just so weird because we just got one in today. And I'm like, you got one in today, like in the store? And she's like, yeah. And so I was like, girl, I'm coming down there to get it. And she was like, you finna come pick it up? And I'm like, yeah, I'll be there when I get off work. So y'all, I drove so fast down there when I got off work and she gave me the item, y'all. I was like, oh my, I cannot believe it. And so she was like, I cannot believe that worked out for you. And I'm like, I cannot believe that worked out for me either. What I asked her was, how often do y'all normally get these in? She said every four months, just about. Now, isn't that crazy that she takes me back, it comes in, and they only get it about every four months. Because from what I've heard, they don't alert them that they're getting this stock in. So it's just a hard to find item. They just send it, and when they do the inventory, they find it. So, yeah, I got it, y'all. So we're going to do the unboxing, and y'all going to see it, y'all. I just, huh, I'm just excited. Okay, I'm excited. So here's the unboxing. All right, so we're going to start off with the bag. Of course, you see the Louis Vuitton. So she wrapped it up real cute. Ooh, here we go. Y'all see? Y'all see? Okay. So look at this bow, though. Let me take that off. And then y'all ready? This bag, of course. Y'all, so gorgeous. Look, this is such like a hot commodity item. Made in Spain. All right. So this is what the inside looks like. You got your documents in here. And this is probably one of the more affordable items by Louis Vuitton, which is why I think everybody goes after it so much. And then, and then there's your date code. Let me get the focus. There's your date code. 
and you see it's made in 2020. Y'all, I'm just so, ooh, so happy. Okay, so now we are gonna do a comparison with the mini pochette and the pochette accessories. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. I'm not the best at it, my hand's not really that cute, but I did wanna do some size comparisons for everybody who's just not really familiar with Louis Vuitton and the mini pochette. So um, what we gonna do is I'm gonna show you the mini pochette and I'm gonna show you the other pochettes that, they, that I own and so we can do a size comparison, okay? As you all saw, this is my new little lady here. She is so cute, right? So cute, y'all, so cute. And this is like so versatile, it can be worn in different ways. If y'all wanna see like a video about the versatility of these pochettes, just comment down below. Um, I wanna do one, but I'm not gonna do one unless people wanna see it. So yeah, if you wanna see the versatility of these pochettes, just let me know and I'll do another video. And then we have the regular pochette accessories. I heard people say pochette accessoire. I say pochette accessories. I'm from Alabama. I don't know how to say all these words for real, but this is the regular pochette accessories here. So you can see the difference in size, right? So I know Louis Vuitton just recently had a price increase, I believe. So this is 365 normally. This used to be 525, but this is like maybe $600 now or something. But it's so hard to come by. This one is a hard to find item just like this is. So yeah, you have to do your research for this one too. And I wanted to show you that, Oh, that stuff in here. Anyways, um, I want to show you that the mini pochette can fit on the inside securely of the pochette accessories, regular. So I'm probably just gonna use this for like a wallet or something like that. I don't, I don't like big purses, so I would probably just use this. Sometimes I might just even carry this around as a as a purse but yeah this fits snugly on the inside okay now these are these two pochettes right so the other pochette that Louis Vuitton has is the pochette Felici and so I think that's how you say that and so let me show you the size comparison with the pochette Felici so here is the pochette Felici and even though the pochette let me put this down even though the Pache Felici and the Pache accessories are similar in size, I think that they serve different purposes. So look at the structure of this bag. So you see how like it's just really square, really defined. It has the envelope front and the beautiful chain that goes with it. To me, this is more of a night bag. This is not an everyday bag. Um, I've turned this into a fanny pack bag before using another strap. Like I said, if y'all want to see versatility of the pochettes, I would do another video if y'all want to see it. But I feel like this, um, is for like really a night out. But what I really want to see is if the mini pochette fits on the inside. So let's see. Now the, the pochette Felici actually comes with um, some inserts, the like a wallet thing and like another pouch thing. Um, I sold mine because I wasn't really like using it. I felt like it crowded the bag too much. But let's see if this mini pochette fits on the inside. So the mini pochette actually does fit on the inside of the pochette Felici. And you can do it like this. I honestly did not know that. You really can take this out of one bag and put it in the pochette, regular pochette accessories and then the pochette Felici too. So yeah, it fits snugly on the inside. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I did not know that. But so here's the size comparison of this. Okay. So the last pochette that I am going to compare it with is actually the pochette that comes with the Neverfull. And so, yeah, we're gonna see if it fits inside that. I don't foresee it fitting inside of that just because it's so like thin and like it doesn't have a lot of give, but we gonna see. 
So here is the pochette that comes with the Neverfull. And a lot of times I see people like try to buy this separately. The only way that you really can buy this separately without the Neverfull is if you buy like off of like Poshmark or something, like a site. Like it, it doesn't come from Louis Vuitton like this. Okay, so let's see if this fits inside of this. All right, so here's the inside of the pochette from the Neverfull. Here is a size comparison. It should fit, it should. Now, now I'm thinking it might fit. Y'all, I can't, I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. I mean, it literally just fits in here. Like, so, now I'm kind of really thinking that this might become my wallet for like my cards and money because like you can literally take this out and put it inside of this pocket, this pocket, and this one. So I'm actually gonna do um, just another like view so you can see all the size comparisons together. But yeah. This my new baby, y'all. This is, y'all, I literally have been searching for this forever, like. But um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have any other, like, ideas that you want to see about Louis Vuitton or just a designer, period, make a comment down below and then I'll try to do a video for you if you want to learn something about some of the bags. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.